As we think about this problem, we might consider that there's nothing special about the two cranes that are being used at this construction site. They aren't being used differently than they would be used anywhere else. Also, the fact that two very different cranes are experiencing the same types of electrical problems tells us that the problem is likely not due to the cranes themselves, or the electronics on the cranes. As a result, the problem is likely from an outside source, probably not even associated with the construction site. So perhaps a good place to start is to consult a map, or even physically visit the site and have a look around to see if there might be any sources of electromagnetic radiation nearby. Say we decide to physically visit the site. Here is a picture of one view from the construction site. What are these two things right here? These look like two large vertical monopole antennas right next to the construction site. And in fact, it turns out that there are two AM transmitters about 230 meters away from the construction site. As we look into the details of these AM stations, we find out that they operate at 100 kilowatts during the day and 50 kilowatts at night. So this could explain the different experiences that the workers are having at different times of day. One of these antennas transmits at a center frequency of 900 kilohertz, and the other at 1,280 kilohertz. Additionally, we learn that these antennas are directional, with most of the transmitted power directed towards the construction site. Before we go on, a quick question. These are individual antennas that are transmitting different signals. They're not working together as part of an array. So how do you think they were constructed to transmit more power towards the construction site? They look like simple, symmetrical monopole antennas.